All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai, Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai, Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai, Call Hala Yahawa, Bashem Yahawa Shai, Bashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akiam, out there listening and learning and pushing this truth. And Shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to write this out to be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And I might be all over the place. Um, I had a lot of things on my mind today, um, this morning. Um, again, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. I don't want to write this out to be edifying, exhorting, and comforting. And, um... The main thing that was on my mind, pretty sure, as you can see on the screen, I'm pretty sure you've heard about it already, the collapse or the uh, reacquisition of um, First Republic Bank. J.P. Morgan has officially um, acquired uh, First Republic Bank, and um, now I think they said uh, uh, J.P. Morgan Chase owns, uh, what, 10% or something like that? I, I forget. I, it, it's some law uh, on the books, I guess. Um, you know, they completely disregard. I'm not too much into the financial laws and shit, but um, I guess they could. They completely disregarded a law that was on the books as far as banks owning, like I think, like 10% of the U.S. debt. You know, in order to like stop a monopoly. I'm not a. You know, I'm not exactly too much up on it, but they completely disregarded that. That law's in the wind now. And they allowed um, J.P. Morgan Chase to um, acquire First Republic Bank, which we know it's all a one. You know, um, it's the theater. It's all theater, man. It's all bullshit. You know, it's all bullshit. Ultimately, all the banks are gonna collapse. We know there's gonna. It's gonna be. We know what. We know what time it is, man. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. We know all roads are leading to the Karagma, the RFID micro C hip, that digital ooh. All right. And, you know, we know Esau deals with gradualism. He deals with, um, you know, um, uh, what is it? Predictive programming. And, you know, he, he, this is basically, you know, he, he's making this move, man. He's making this move to set up this digital system, this new world order, this new way of governing, buying and selling. And like we always say over and over, he has to collapse this current economy in order to usher in this, this new economy, this new way of buying and selling, of operating. Okay, you see, and that's what you see happening. He's he's gradually, which not even gradually, because a lot of it's, a lot of things are happening quickly, rolling out this new world order. He's putting everything in in in, in um in play, you know. You know, so anyway, um, yeah, as you can see on the screen, this is from BBC News. It says U.S. bank collapse warning. U.S. could face economic turmoil, which we've been telling you over and over. We've broken records, man. Broken records evil times on the horizon okay daniel 12 and 1 a time like never before jeremiah 30 we're at the door of jacob's trouble we're at the door of the hour of temptation all hell is going to break loose and remember jake um the hour of temptation is going to try the whole world okay jacob's trouble is going to try the world the whole entire inhabited world why because the earth job 9 and 24 the earth is given into the hands of the wicked the wicked is ruling esau edom you know and he's ruling wickedly you know, and he's he's got he's got a, he's got an agenda. You know, Aaron Russo told you <laughs> to what to you know what the people. That way they'll have complete control. You don't want to obey; they just lock your you know what off. Okay, you know, and that's where everything is heading. And not to mention uh, Yasharala, we're scattered amongst the four corners of the earth. You know, so this thing it's a global thing. It's a global reset. It's a global agenda. All right. You know, and all these heathens, all these nations are, are in cahoots. As you can see, what you see happening is they're just really fighting over who's going to, you know, lead, be the head of this new system that's being rolled out. You know, and they deal with what? Uh, the Hegelian dialect, order out of chaos, problem, reaction, solution, pressure from above, pressure from below. It's all by design, man. It's all by design. So it says, um... And we've been telling you, all when you look around, all you keep seeing is striking. Yesterday was May 1st, May Day. You saw in uh, in, in Paris, France, there, there was, you know, in an uproar. 
you know, throwing Molotov cocktails at, uh, at, at police officers, you know, and it's going to get worse, worse. Now I saw there's the, the, now the um, Hollywood, the Writers Guild, the writers are talking about striking. That's that's the that's the that's the vibration in the earth, man. Why? Because the wicked is ruling and the people are mourning and, the, and they're tired of being oppressed, you know. You know, that's why we know sedition is coming right here to Babylon the Great, man. Just like you see all throughout the world. All right. So it says U.S. could face economic turmoil if another bank faces collapse, which we know is it's inevitable. You know, it's inevitable. It says money bosses warn BBC News. This was a good um, this was a good um, report. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to play it. But um, it says the U.S. could face economic turmoil if more banks face collapse. Some of the world's leading money managers have warned. The caution followed uh, the failure of First Republic, the second largest banking failure in U.S. history, and the third bank to collapse in the country since March. So it says, J.P. Morgan Chase took over First Republic in a deal brokered by regulators, but there is a warning that the U.S. could face a credit crunch and economic slowdown and at a crucial time if another bank fails, which we know is inevitable. It's inevitable because this place is, is circling the drain. You know, it should have been collapsed. This bubble should have been popped. And this collapse is going to be worse than ever. You know, you people are in a, in a, in a much worse state, man. Way worse than in, in um during the Great Depression. Was that 1929 or the, I forget exactly the date on the Great Depression. You know, you people are in a way worse case and way worse than 2007, 2008. The housing market collapsed. You know, it's a, you people in the, you know, man, it's going to get nasty. And it's going to catch majority of you off guard. I don't know how, when when the prophecies are screaming, the men of the Lord are out there screaming, constantly warning you. That, it, the Lord, the 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 Yahweh, the Yahweh, the Yahweh is shaking you on every, every, every which way. You turn on the news, that's all you see, man. You know, talks of World War Three, nuclear, nuclear uh, destruction, uh, you know, layoffs. You know, everything we've been warning you about and filtering it through the scriptures, you see it every which way you turn. But a lot of you still shoving your head in the goddamn sand, you know. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. The blood is off our hands. And like I said, I'm probably all over the place. A lot of things were on my mind, you know. Um, let, let's just hit the scriptures, man. Um, let's see where I want to start at. <sighs> Salaki. Let's start with First Thessalonians 5 and... Um, at, and one, the main point I want is in three, because um, a statement that was made by um, Jamie Morgan, I think that's his name for the, the from J, um, from Chase, you know, he was saying that, um, you know, this acquisition, you know, things should start to bounce back. And, you know, basically he was he was preaching uh, peace and safety, which, we know, this man is a goddamn devil and he's got an end game and it's all by design. You know, we're, 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 matter of fact, let's sit Psalms first. Psalms 55 and uh, 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Yeah, he's a, he's a he's a liar and the father of it. This man is a devil, a deceiver. You know, he is the wicked per Malachi 1 and 4. And he has an end game, an end goal, an agenda. You know, and that's to get all the people see-hipped. Okay? You know, where he'll have complete control. You know, and that's where everything is leading to. You know, but he wants to control the collapse. He's going to collapse this bitch. You see he's collapsing it, but he wants to control it. He wants to control the run on the banks, so on and so forth. He wants to control this chaos, you know? So it says the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Yeah, he talks a good game. If you for the, oh, But the simple, the, only the simple believe. The simple believeth every word, you know? The prudent man looketh well to his going. The prudent man checks things out, you know? <laughs> you know? You know, does critical thinking, you know, a add shit up. But the simple, they believe everything, man, especially what they daddy tell them. They, they, they believe it, you know, whatever, whatever CNN says, whatever, you know, this person say they, they just run with it, you know. It says the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war is in his heart because he's really planning on destroying the people, bringing purity hell upon you people, man completely oppressing you what's the new world order a slogan you will own nothing and, and be happy that's the end game you know 
You know? His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Yeah, they really planning on coming in as a flood. You know? <laughs> they they planning on completely destroying the people, man. And they've been doing it. On every front, man. Destroying you uh, physically, through the foods, spiritually, you know? Mentally, physically, spiritually. Every 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 side he's been waging war on you. And uh, Elder Apostle Tahar just mentioned about the, um, the four... You know what? Five, you know what? Warfare, you know, you know, that's that's what they doing. But with these uh, railroad derailments, you know, polluting the, the, the polluting the, oh, the water, you know, um, burning down these food processing plants. He, he's he's waging war on, on, on the people, man. You know, you know, but ain't nobody paying attention but the elect. And we've been warning you and you ain't seen nothing yet. The devil is about to come down with great wrath, knowing that he had but a short time. His time is up. According to Job, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh set the bounds which he can't pass, and he knows it. The joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. You know? 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I run unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord out of one so cometh as a thief in the night. And we know that. That's why we constantly watching you and staying on, on, on our square to the best of our ability. You know? Putting on as the elect, offending as least as possible. You know? Kissing the sun, least he be angry. Because we know any day now, all hell can break loose. Things are going to change in a moment. In a twinkle, you know, in the twinkling of an eye, in a blink, in a, in a blink you're going to wake up. Everything going to be completely different. Life as you know it is going to be different. We're going to enter into that next phase, the next phase, which is what persecution, purity, hell upon the people, you know, you know, that's why now is the time to get this oil, this wisdom, knowledge and understanding in your vessel. It's going to keep you stable in the, in these, in the times to come. It's going to help you from bugging out because why you, the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has, has told you these things from the beginning. He's declared the end from the beginning and it's going to do nothing but boost your faith Cause you 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 saw it. you 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 got the play, you got the script the scriptures, you know, these are exciting times for the elect. We everything we've been warning you about, we see it coming, coming you know coming down the pike and, and, and fast. It says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then that that that's the that's what Jamie uh was Jamie Morgan I forget what the hell whatever the hell is they do name is. That's what he was preaching. Peace and safety. Don't worry about it. The banking that, you know, with this acquisition, everything should be strong again. You know, I see uh, Trump running the, and I see he had the MAGA hat on. Make America great again. He had it all, a white, all white MAGA hat on. You know, it, nah, this, America's through. America's through. It's, it's lost its hegemony. All these nations, these heathens are, are dumping the dollar. They they abandoning ship. They, they salivating. They licking their chops. America's ripe for the slaughter, you know, our redemption is nigh, this gospel has gone out, so the end is coming, our redemption is, is nigh, so for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape, you're not going to escape this judgment, you can't hide from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, but ye, brethren, are not in darkness, and that's the only ones we're concerned with, the elect, the elect of Yasharala. That's why we do these videos, and we go out there to the highways and the byways. The foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. So what if some did not believe? Shall it make the faith of Yahweh without effect? Yahweh forbid. In, in uh, Second Ezra tells you, fear not the, the incredulity, the unbelief, the vain imaginations, right? You know? You know? It says, "Be ye, but ye brethren are not in darkness, because we got the light, this truth, that the day that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all children of the light and children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. And we've been watching, we've been watching, and everything we've been saying, we've been warning you about. We see it. Hey, <laughs> prophecies are screaming." It's screaming, baby. Habakkuk uh, 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. 
And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth, readeth, readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. We're at the end. The vision is screaming. It's screaming. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. And that's boosting our faith. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is faithful and true. He's not a man that he should lie. He said it, it's going to come to pass. It is coming to pass. All is being fulfilled. There's only a handful of prophecies that are left to play out. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not, is not upright in him. Going into Esau, Edom. He can't get right. He is the wicked, per Malachi 1 and 4. He was made that way. Okay? He was made to be the wicked. He is the vessel of wrath fitted to destruction. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh whipping stick on the left hand side. That red horse that came to take peace from the earth. He's doing his job, but you ain't seen nothing yet. But the just shall live by his faith. The just is Yasharala. You tribes, and chiefly the elect. We walk by faith, not by sight. We know some way, shape, or form, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to lift up that standard. He's going to put that hedge around us. Because we've put we're putting our trust in him. You know, and we're not just, you know, we're not just having faith, walking by faith alone. We have faith plus works. You know, I don't want to write this out. We keep enduring to the end. He that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. It says, ye, it says, yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, his philosophies, you know, his unrighteous decrees, his legislation, the words of his mouth, smoother than butter, but wars in his heart. You know, he goes around so-called uh, proclaiming peace, peace, peace. You know, it's all for the benefit of the people, but he really want to destroy you. He want to, he want to, you know, he want to, he covered, he covered fields and takes them by violence, you know, so that he oppress a man and his heritage. That's this devil. Yea, also because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, read Obadiah. Who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death. That's what he brings upon the people. Purity, hell, and death. And cannot be satisfied. But gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. And that's what this whole new world order is about. This new agenda. Getting complete control. You know? Getting everybody under his thumb. You know? You don't want to obey? He just locks your digital ool off. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him? <sighs> Salakia. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his? How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay? Then we know that thick clay is I bought you. Heavy debts, pledges, right? And uh, I wanted to go into this because that's how the wicked elite operate, but a lot of you. Babylonians have the same mind frame, man. You laden yourself with thick clay. A lot of you are living, not it, it was paycheck to paycheck. Now you live in a um, uh, 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 credit card to credit card, you know, credit card statement to credit card statement. You know, you living off of debt, interest, usury. You on borrowed time, you know, you know, and it can't go on forever. It can't. How, how can it? You know, you know. So this is um. I wanted to get this in a, in a couple of uh, translations, a couple of different, uh, you know, a couple of different versions of the Bible, right? Because, I, I, you know, we always read the KJV, but let's get it in the uh, New King James Version, right? It says, will not all these take up a proverb against them? This Habakkuk 2 and 6. Will not all these take up a proverb against them and a taunting riddle against, against them and say, woe to him who increases... What is not his? Everywhere Esau, Edom got, everything Esau got, he stole it. You know? How long? And him to and to him who loads himself with many pledges, debts, you know? It's the NLT. But soon their captives will taunt them. They will mock them, saying, What sorrow awaits you, thieves? <laughs> Chiefly the wicked elite. Now will you get what you deserve? You've become rich by extortion. That's what that's what usury is, interest. It's extortion. You know, unjust weights. But how much longer can this go on? It's not going to go on much longer. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to recompense this devil. Uh, 
you get that. That's the point. That a lot of these, this is pretty much says the same thing. It talks about extortion and 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 you know and you know thievery, man. And that's how this devil got everything. But a lot of you people are also you, you trust in oppression. You trust in this system. You know, you know. Going back to verse seven, shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee? Really talking about these nations. They about to turn on America. They that ate thy bread have laid a deadly wound, okay? But a lot of you about to get bitten also, you know? Because you've been doing nothing but accumulating debt, you know? And it's going to cut. <laughs> yeah, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to, man, you in a bad case, you know? And it says, shall not they rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and wake that shall vex thee and thou shalt be booties unto them. Okay, the whole the whole thing is good, but that's the point. Okay, and that's what you see happening. Like, you know, that's what you see. That's pretty much the point. Um, I had a couple of scriptures. Like I said, I I didn't know where I wanted to go with it. A lot of things were on my mind. You know, but hey, we're broken records, man. We're broken records. We keep telling you all hell is about to break loose, man. You know, evil, to bad times on the horizon, man. Second Ezra eight and fifty. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Hey, we keep warning you with broken records, but you don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. You fanning your hand at the truth. You know, you, you, you're you proud just like your daddy. But the pride of thine heart have deceived you also. You know? Pro, what is uh, pride go up before destruction? You know? Hey, this, this, go, this thing going to catch a lot of you off guard. You know, evil times on the horizon. We keep warning you. You know, mass layoffs. Mass layoffs, man, sedition, um, wars, class wars, race wars, you know, you know, bad times, man. Isaiah 19 and 15, neither, broken records, neither shall there be any work for Egypt, more and more layoffs. That's all that's in the news. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail branch or rush may do. That's the times that we're coming into. That's why it's important, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. Evil days are coming. They here. They, we at the door of them. Nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the days when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves. Even these so-called, these rulers are going to be in, in a bad case. That's why it started the beginning of the year. The, 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 the CEO of, of Bed Bath & Beyond took a plunge off a skyscraper. And look what's happening now. He he saw the writing on the wall. And he, he checked out. You know? What's happening to Bed Bath & Beyond right now? Bankruptcy. You know? Uh, David's Bridles. You know? You know? All these companies are going under. Cause th th this big Ponzi scheme... It's coming. It's coming to a screeching halt. This house of cards, I, I forget who said it. I, I, I'm stealing this from somebody. Salakia, one of them uh, economic guys mentioned it. He, he said it, it. This house of cards that's built on on, on sand is it's collapsing, and that's what this bitch is. It's it's a big pond, one big Ponzi scheme. Everything is a Ponzi scheme, built upon debt. You know, you know. Again, the house of cards, uh, built upon sand, is collapsing. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, again, no work for Egypt, and those that look out of the windows be darkened, and the doors shall be shut in the streets, when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. You see, I mentioned the, the, the uh, well, we know the, the music industry, that's through. You know, the entertainment industry is done. The, the hey, movies are done. You know, like you see the, the damn writers are striking now. Everybody's striking. Everybody's protesting. You know, because that's, that's the times that we're living in. We ain't in the time of peace and safety. We're in a time of war, evil, destruction. You know? You know? Uh, uh, let me hit this one too. It goes right with the keepers of the house. James 5 and 1. Go now, go to now, ye rich men. The keepers of the house is trembling. Go to now, ye rich men. Weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. 
Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered. And the rust of them, the rust representing the wickedness, right? The rust of them shall be a witness against you. According to the, uh, the su his substance shall be the restitution. You done heaped everything to yourself. You, gonna you done gobble everything down, but you about to vomit it up. You know? Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Esau knows that. That's why he's coming down with great wrath. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth, and the cries of them have reaped, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord. I the one of Sabaoth, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Lord of armies, the Lord of hosts. Okay? Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton. Ye have nourished your hearts as in the days of slaughter. You have condemned and killed the just, and he doth not resist you. Okay? Uh, read some more. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord out of one. That's what we're waiting on. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach to rise up to the prey. Behold, the husbandmen waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth. We've been laboring, man. You know, in, in the field, sowing. You know, you know, sowing, tilling the ground, planting these seeds, you know. And, and, and a reward is coming. Fishing, you know. A reward is coming for the elect. It says, and have long patience for it until he receiveth the early and latter rain. Patient means to suffer. You know, we've been patiently waiting. We're still waiting patiently on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to return and recompense our enemies, man, and redeem his elect, his chosen. Be ye also patient. Establish your hearts, and your heart is your mind, your lob. For the coming of the Lord, Adawan, draweth nigh. That's the good news. Our redemption is nigh, baby. You know, he going to recompense all of our adversaries. Okay? This place is through. You know, so um, let me close out here. I'm gonna close out here. I know it's probably all over the place, but it is what it is. I don't want to write this out if this was edifying and exhorting and comforting. You know, beautiful times, man. Beautiful times. You know, repent, man. Repent. Take heed. Stop putting the day of the Lord off, man. Stop putting the Lord off, man. Seek the Lord while he may be found. You know, you know, fight the good fight of faith. Keep pushing. We're close. Second Ezra 15. And um, let me start slot here. Second, as of fifteen and fourteen, woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword in their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. That's what's coming, baby, sedition, bank runs, you know, all manner of hell is gonna break loose once this economy officially collapses. There's no work. You can't, your 401k vanishes right in front of your eye, your pension, you know, you're going to go to the grocery store, there ain't going to be no food, because famine is coming also, you know, you know, the door, it's going to be dark out, the windows are going to be dark out there, baby, dark, martial law, looting, shooting, you know, the love of many going to wax cold, you know, race wars, class wars, domestic violence, you know. This, that's what's coming. It's on. It's right. It's right around the corner, for the sword and and the ultimate sword is coming. The missiles, the nukes, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride. What I what did I read earlier? Many miseries for many second Ezra eight and fifty for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. You love this world, you're 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 drunken in the cares of this world, you know. That's why that day is gonna overtake you as a thief. You're completely blinded to to the reality of things. You know, you're trusting in oppression. You're trusting in Egypt. You're trusting in, in the wicked. Instead of putting your trust in your Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The days of Jacob's trouble is quickly approaching. 
The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. That's what's coming. Evil times, a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Diego's day, Diego's night. But shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of, because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. That's what's coming, man. That's what's coming. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. All right? Economic turmoil. That's what's coming. A collapse. Okay? A global reset. The karagma. Okay? All hell is about to break loose, man. We're at the door. Hey, keep pushing. Keep fighting, man. We're close. Shalom. Wa abad babal. Kwam yasharallah.